Welcome back guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to go from zero to a million coins. So if you've got no coins, or you want to pack one of your favourite, or buy one of your favourite team of the seasons, you are in the right place. So make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you'd like to get yourself one of five copies of EFC. We'll be giving them away at 14k, we are only 600 subs away. All you've got to do is subscribe and send me proof on Instagram. But as usual, if you are looking to get coins in a faster way, well... So if you guys are sick of losing at FIFA because your team isn't good enough, or you're not good enough at the game, then right now you need to head over to skycoach.gg. Not only can they coach you in your weekend league or play your games for you, you can buy any amount of coins you want and all of the services get 10% off right now with the code PROREECALL. Go check them out below, make sure to click the link in the description and let's get into it. Now for those of you who also may be looking to get your weekend league done, you can also get that done over at Skycoach, so make sure to go check them out. They've got an offer on at the moment which you guys are going to love. But we of course need to get you guys some coins in order to start out these methods and where are we going to start other than bronze pack methods and squad battles and I'll explain why. So obviously first of all, bronze pack method, simple as you go on the store, you buy bronze packs for 750 coins and you cycle in. Now if you need a bit more understanding on that, there's a link down below for a video on bronze pack method to give you guys a bit of a hand. Now where else can you make yourself some coins? I mean you've also got options in your my club section, so I like to go over to the stadium. You've got an absolute ton here if you've been playing since the start of the game, and most of it quick sells for quite a lot. I mean if we go over to magenta, uh, the colouring of the seats, I know this isn't a lot, but 242 coins per card. So if I sell 10 of these, that's two point what 4 k and what is it going to take me like what 30 seconds so in terms of a rate of of coins it's brilliant obviously it's not a trading method it's just getting rid of crap in your club but the reality is you probably make more coins from this in a quicker time than anything else so it's a good thing to do and give a go obviously there'll be some places where you won't make many coins if we go over to stadiums you should be taking it in i mean a lot of these are 485 coins sell 10 of them that's 4k and now you can easily start the methods so guys, as those of you who've seen these videos before will know, we always talk about the fact that the bottom end of the market doesn't really change much. So the methods there aren't really going to be very new or interchangeable. Now, if you need some lower budget methods, my 200k video the other day had an absolute ton, but here's just a show of how simple it is. If you go over to Defender, Gold Rare, Syria, and Juve, we've had this filter off since literally the first week. Obviously, it's a little bit cheaper now, um, but you've got the likes of Bremer and Quadrado on this one. So Bremer obviously being the cheaper one at 83, and to be fair, um, he's actually quite well priced for an 83. I mean, a lot of players prices are in the absolute mud right now and he's not really as low as the rest but you can see here at 2k we can grab him on a compare price if we want to at maybe 1.8 he's going to easily sell on for about 2.2 or 2.3 so you can see there how easy the gold rare market is and I love a little gem just before we move on, just for you guys who do need the coins. Atletico Madrid, France, Liga Santander, and Gold Rare. You got Lamar and you got Griezmann, and it's a brilliant filler to get yourself started. Now, I never thought I'd say this, but we were brought the Saudi Tots recently, and it's actually one of the better team of the seasons that we've had. And I know that sounds mad, but the reality is some of these cards are absolutely crazy. Now, obviously, you want to take it over to the team of the season, and there are a few methods you can get out of this. Don't worry, the whole video is not just going to be Saudi Tots, but there's a lot we can do with it. Now, they do have one moments card, but they're probably not going to do a filter on the Ronaldo card that currently costs 9 million coins. But with the team of the season for a start, if you just go base level, the Agalo, Fulzir, Tombatic, Hagazi, and Marcelo grow up are all at 18k I think from the looks of things here and they all have a minimum of 10 so you've got the goalkeeper and centre back cheapest they're both at about 16k the rest of the three players are around 18 so if we set this to we'll go for 15 750 nothing at 16 there okay so we've got a few here you can see they're kind of balancing around this price and it's probably worth to be honest right now picking these guys up for around 15k i'd say because you can easily sell them on for 16k the ea tax on that is only 800 coins so it's a 200 coin profit i do believe you'll be able to get a little bit more in terms of the value out of them i reckon you can even sell them for 16.5 maybe even 17 depending on who you're picking up you might even get the ones to go for a little bit more and get them sold on for 18 but the reality is you do not want to get stuck buying these for 15.5 the market drops you can't sell it as high as you thought and you've lost some coins now obviously as you can see it is a competitive market right now these aren't probably being packed as much or, or listed as much as other tots i mean these are the tots where you are a lot closer to the just quick sell it kind of thing so it is something you have to bear in mind you might not be picking up as many of these as you would if you were doing a bundesliga tots fill because because there's so many bundesligas being packed right now you know there'll be people doing bundes packs who have also got the tradable versions listing them up You've got a flood of them on the market. I think the Saudi Tots is going to be the kind of undercut one or... Ooh. 
See, that one I thought we had, I'm not going to lie. Now, of course, if you have too much trouble picking up things with that filter, you can also go to the Bundesliga Defender. Now, of course, you've got Schlotterbeck, you've got Fringpong, and you've also got the likes of Davies on this one. But unfortunately, Schlotterbeck does ruin it in terms of getting yourself a good profit. So in order to get rid of our Schlotterbeck here, all you want to do is have a look. His max is 190k, which does actually mean if we put the minimum at 190, and we are going to get rid of him, it leaves us with Kimmich, Davies, and... Obviously, Delict is probably not going to come up, to be honest. And Frimpong. Now, realistically, Frimpong is actually worth around 200k. If we go for here, there's going to be nothing. 240, nothing. 250. This is where Frimpong comes along. And you'll also find, I mean, Davies isn't far off. If you look at Davies, you are looking at... Let's have a look. Alfonso, the boy is 300. Now, 340 from the looks of things. Now, I know that is a bit of a jump, but the reality is there's going to be a lot of people who try and list him at a little bit more. They'll probably go for maybe 360. They're going to miss list, go up for 260, maybe even 240. Whatever it is, you're going to snag him. So you've got the opportunity there. If you want to raise this to 261 and do compare price at the end, you can see there's not many cards here. Now, obviously, there's a few over the hour mark, so I can't do that right now. But when you guys are sniping, you'll be able to have a look and determine what you want to do. So 250k for the sell on EA tax on that is going to be 10%. So it's 25k and then we half it. So it's 12.5. So actually, I can pick up cards there and we're making 2.5k profit. Now, that's not really good enough. So if we go to 230, we're gonna be making a 7.5k profit per card. So that's quite good. 7.5k is the absolute worst. Now, if you get a Davies on here, you're making about 100k. If you get a Frimpong, you're making just under 10k. If you can manage yourself to get maybe a Delict or any of the other cards, you're gonna be making an absolute killing. I think Kimmich is only 400k, so you do have an opportunity there as well. We have just missed out on what was the equivalent of about 20k of profit there. So that's a little bit of an L. I did stutter, so I will take the L for that one. Now, if you want to get this filter a little bit more, I, I suppose, close in line with what's available, if you go over to Bayern Munich, you will obviously only find Kimmich and Davies. So that gives you a little bit of a, a, a different filter with the same kind of uh, measurement. So you've got Davies here. You'll find Kimmich coming up a little bit further, so you can do that as well. Now, a super easy one that the Saudi League has provided us is simply Saudi League. You want to go to the Chemistry Styles base the reason you want to do this is because it's going to remove the keeper who is literally one of the cheapest and we are looking at two 500k players which i think is absolutely insane saudi league tots being that much just it, it's mental obviously i know there's the ronaldo draw now and um, having you know one of these guys up there with ronaldo is going to be a formidable uh, attack there now we've got a five star skill move to this guy i'll be honest he's going to be incredible he, he is a brilliant player he had uh, i think he had some cards early am i right in saying they're the ones to watch this year that was really good or it might have been last year but either way he's had some brilliant cards he's a brilliant player to play with it's going to be very interesting to see where this card goes but you're selling it right now for about 470k so 47 half is going to be 20 3.5 so realistically for ea tax you want to go down by about 30k and um, bringing it to to 440 so that means you're making about a 10k profit just under you're obviously having that as the minimum if you get a romarino you're going to make even more so you do have a huge berth of profit available it is a bit of a scary one um there's there's a lot of potential on this one to, to spend a lot of time and maybe not get anything pop up if you can just do it at a time when good tradable packs come into the store, I think you'll be laughing. I think the time where you're going to get more stiffed is realistically when you've got untradable packs coming in because that's where no one's really going to be able to list and you're just not going to get the profit. But as I say, you've got the ability to do compare price here. I mean, there's a 458 there. It's gone straight away, but you can see how easy compare price would be done. 470, if we go here, we literally just want a 440. So we're not really asking for a lot. It's 2600 is the most recent on the market. We saw a Frimpong snipe for a similar value. You've got a 452 there, 455. You can see people are edging to give us that. So you are going to get it if you spend your time. Honorable mention of something which you can also do when you are looking at the Saudi League if you spend too much time on that and get a bit of stress is take this over to around 15k and you're gonna be looking at the absolute wonderful Al Jabba and you will also find Alloween there as well. So we've got a 12.5 there, which I'm gonna take. We'll list that at 14 because he does actually standardly sell for 14. Unfortunately, because he does have an SPC that's literally sat there out and is a better version of the card, it's gonna be difficult for really get much more out of him, but it's a good little card to play around with. Now, an interesting one you can take yourself over to at the moment is right wing and premier league you've got saka you've got salah and you've got gabriel jesus now the minimum for one of these bad boys is around 700k i think 
from the looks of things. And Saka is actually really up, 500k, so a little bit better there. Salah and Gabriel Jesus, obviously a little bit of a jump up. I mean, if we have a look at the cheapest Gabriel Jesus right now, you are looking at the likes of 2 mil. And Salah, you are looking at the likes of 1.7. So actually, if you want to get those two on a filter on their own, you can get rid of Saka and do it like that. What you do is you put the maximum or the minimum, sorry, to 1.5 mil. So that's Saka's minimum. Now, of course, this works as a filter with Saka in, but you are mostly going to pick him up. You're not really going to see yourselves uh, a Salah or anything like that. But if we go to 1.5 as the minimum, and we can go to 1. Point, what would we have, we have to go to? So it'd be 1.6, I think, there. You can see we've got some Salahs. I've done it wrong. We've put it at the max, not the minimum. So minimum by now, 1.5 mil. And then you want to go to, I think it's probably 1.6, maybe. 1.781 so you've got a few here 1765 1750 1745 that is one of the cheaper ones so what we'd want to do is go down to here and then realistically ea tax on 1.7 mil so 10 percent is 170k half of that you're looking at about 80k roughly so ea tax we'd actually have to snipe him at 1.6 mil so obviously it's 100k under but with a 1 million coin card that's actually not that unrealistic we're making 20k profit there after the sell-on but you can pick up anything from a 20k profit all the way to a 260k profit i think in the looks of things or a 220 um so you've got a big berth of profit on Salah. you've also with the opportunity of gabriel jesus i mean that would be an insane profit you're looking at four or five hundred k and being that it's not a lot in the terms of where you are i mean a 17k player going to 16k isn't that much that's the same as a 1.7 mil going for 1.6 in terms of percentages now i know that it's obviously not the same in terms of you know it, it's unlikely but it's still possible and you guys you guys are king snipers you guys can smash it and we're going to leave it there because that is one of the better filters you can get with a load of coins so of course if you do need some more coins subscribe we'll be back and don't worry i've got a video on 100 bundesliga packs tomorrow so you will see me very depressed with those so make sure to drop a like down below subscribe if you're new and i'll see you tomorrow